Hey guys, and today we are going to show you how to run a packet trace with Wireshark. So the first thing you're going to need to do is to download Wireshark. This can be done at wireshark.org. We'll have links to it in the description down below. Um, so you just click download here on the main page and then depending on what operating system you're using you'll just want to download the installer for you so whether you're 64-bit 32-bit um, Windows or you are Mac and, um, there's even a Linux version but I don't do much Linux um, so we'll just go over Windows since that's my primary source so once we have it downloaded and installed and then when you open it up it's just gonna look like this so this gives you a display of all of your connections um, so when you're running a packet trace you need to decide what you want to trace um, here we can see there's activity so we know that my Ethernet is connected um, if you're doing it on like a laptop then typically it would be your Wi-Fi um, if you're doing something on the internet though with Wireshark open you'll see different things that are happening so we just want to simply double click the Ethernet and it's going to start capturing all of the packet information um, so depending on why you're doing a packet trace or who you're doing it for like if you're a network engineer um, it just depends on how long you want to run it in most cases if you run it for about one to two minutes it will give you all of the information you need um, sometimes if you're having a specific issue with a specific website you would want to try accessing that website while you're running the packet trace to see if it has an issue so once you've let it run for the one two minutes however long you want you just click the stop button your packet trace is now complete and then you can save the packet trace anyway thanks for watching guys don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more